it was fairly difficult giving up a 49 or sailing. You know, it's an amazing boat to sail, great fun, and I was very aware of the opportunity that I had to sail the boat, and especially to sail with the best mate, um, and have campaigned it through two Olympics. Um, I felt very fortunate and privileged to have done that. But having said that, I also felt like we'd kind of run our course a little bit as a team, and um, my injury stuff was proving that I was never going to get back to my physical prime, and so the decision to stop was almost a fairly easy one for me. I've been coaching the 49er lads now for um, for a year, almost exactly. Uh, it's It's been pretty challenging. There's a massive um, variety in ability from the guys who are new to the programme to the guys who've been involved for a few for a few years and are sort of knocking on the, the front end of or the back end of podium funding. A coach, when they transition from sailor to coach, you get this window where you've, you've got a really good understanding of the skills that are, are needed to be competitive at the highest level, um, really current skills, and I think that's what what Ben brings uh, to the 49er squad right now, this ability to get across the very latest techniques uh, that are good enough to win you world championships right now. I think at the moment he's going to be a pretty laissez-faire, kind of uh, easy going, kind of roll with it, which is the way that he was as, as a sailor. Um, and uh, I think over the next couple of years he'll start developing his own, his own philosophy and his own style. But um, at the moment it's going to be pretty green, it's going to be pretty raw, but that's countered by this, this you know, really up-to-date knowledge of how to make a football go quickly. The experience that I gained from going to the games has been, is, yeah, is invaluable. You know, uh, I know from a fact as a, as a sailor, the guys that I gained the most from who coached me and that I respected most in their opinions and um, were people with the most experience almost as sailors. And um, so I'm kind of hoping that currently I've got the knowledge um, and it's just learning out how, how to deliver that. Obviously, two-time Olympian. He's been to Beijing, he's been to London. Uh, He's got the experience and uh, he's had obviously to deal with adversity and um, obviously had some incredib incredibly successful uh, years within that. Um, so kind of just having his experience I guess and being in the situations that we might come into he'll be able to, to guide us and put us in the right direction and hopefully avoid the potential pitfalls that, that he had. It gives you a huge confidence like just having someone that you I've watched on TV, he's been there, he's done it, he's, uh, he's experienced everything that we're hoping to experience in the next few years. His coaching style, obviously he's, he's pretty new to it and I think he's learning just as much as we are, but he's, uh, he's very uh, more of a hands-on type of coach, he likes to get involved with you in the boat, you know, I've, I've had Ben in the boat once or twice now and that's really good because you can see how a top level sailor would be doing it and uh, how you can almost improve on yourself as well as like when Chris gets back and I'll say wow you know Ben was doing these things and that's that's the next level for us. The one thing I kind of regret most actually is not having done a little bit of coaching earlier in my career. Um, I've learned a lot of lessons I suppose having been a coach that looking back on I probably would have used in my uh, career as an athlete so I definitely would recommend having a go at it um, and taking the opportunities when they're there. Um, because I think you'll be surprised at what comes out of it.